So, uh, so today I'm talking about uh, uh, misery to mastery is my topic. That you know we have heard, and we certainly teach this. We believe this in the science of mind that it is in fact the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom, and that includes everything that would be for our greatest and highest good, for our greatest soul growth, for the greatest development of us in this earthly experience. I believe that what that highest and greatest good is, that good that includes everything, is 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 like pure potential for everything possible that would serve us and our spiritual evolution. Then why do we experience misery? Well, in so many forms, we experience misery. You know, because we believe in the science of mind that this could be heaven. Right now, our experience of earth could be heavenly, and yet we do not allow it. However, we experience the hell of lack. We experience the hell of separation, the hell of loneliness, the hell of depression, on and on and on and on. Uh, Anis Nin said, we don't see things as they are, we see things as we are. Which means, of course, that we all bring something to the seeing. You know, we all bring our history, we bring our current level of belief, we bring our attitude. I believe for a master uh, to be, uh, have mastery in our consciousness, I believe that we have to go in the direction that the river is flowing, as opposed to resisting life and constantly saying, it's got to be different than this, it should be something else, this is not right, to just going in the direction that the horse is already running, because we are, in fact, revealing more and more God. You know, for the master, I believe it's not that the master has no problems. It's not that the master experiences no challenges. It's just that as those challenges and problems come, the master is peaceful in how they meet them. The master continues to be love-filled as he meets the difficult conditions.